welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Ika Ashad. If you're an old viewer subscriber, welcome back. It's been a really long time. I, I do apologise. I actually am very sorry, but um, I'm finally back. So yay. Um, this is going to be slightly strange, so I hope you guys don't mind because it's been a long time since I've done like such a video like this. It's a work in progress. I have to get back into the routine, so do excuse any weirdness and all sorts that will occur in this video. But yes, um, also guys, do you like my top? It's so cute. It says, free the house elves. It's really cute. Um, any Harry Potter clothing, I will wear. It's just, it's non-negotiable. But anyways, yes, I am back. And as you can tell from the title down below, I am doing a lip swatch video, which is something I have never done on this channel ever before. So I thought, why not? Um, so yeah, but first of all, just gonna point out the elephant in the room. Um, my eye <laughs> It's red. I've got like a cloud of red in the eye um, where it should be white. Um, anytime I do any close-ups, I apologise because I have no idea why it's like this. I don't understand. It's not painful, but it's red and it just looks really ugly and weird and I, it's kind of alien, so yeah. Um, the light is making it water a little bit, but it's nothing like hurting and stuff. But yeah, so I'm just thought I'll put it out there first. But yeah, today I'm doing a lip swatch video of some body shop lip that I've collected for a little while. I have them right here. There's not many. I don't know why I'm acting like there's so many and I'm trying to juggle them all. There's only seven shades in the range. Um, but yeah, I have my phone here so I can kind of break down like what they're about, what they are quickly before I get into the actual video. But I'm doing a lip swatch video so it's very exciting. I've never done this before. I've researched so many lip swatch videos just so I can figure out how to do this. Um, it's just very me to do that because I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. How am I supposed to do this? I don't know. I've never done it before. So yeah. But these are the Colour Crush Matte Lipsticks um, and you can find them on Body Shop, I'll link them down below, I'll link, like find the link and put it down below. My hair's straight as well by the way, so there's that too and it just, I'm very self-conscious about it, okay? I don't like my short, shorter, this is not short, it's shorter for me. Me is short. Short length hair, straight and it seems really weird but I did it for the sake of looking nice on camera. I did it for you guys, okay? So you didn't have to see my frizzy, wavy mess that I've been dealing with for the last couple of months, I don't know, so yeah. Anyways, um, matte lipsticks, they're colour crush and I will link them down below so you guys can check them out yourself, you can check out all the full ingredient list, all of that. But yeah, because my mum does body shop at home, she's a body shop at home consultant, meaning that she does everything at home, kind of like how you have Avon and stuff like that, but it's not like Avon, but it's easy to compare it to Avon. But yeah, um, so I was able to buy pretty much all of them at a discounted price, so they're originally £8 and you get 4.1 grams, and I don't know if that's good for lipsticks, because I've never really bought a check in the grams and stuff, but I think that's pretty good for like £8. You get 4.1 grams, but what I got them was for like usually like six to five, five, six pounds. I got them for, for so a couple of pounds off, nothing major, but that's what I got them for. But Body Shop do have sales quite often as well, so that's a good thing. So they come in seven shades. So the shades are 430 Sienna Rose, 425 Lima Magenta, 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 410 Havana Red, 429 Osaka Plum, 423 Rio Fugia. Um, 415 New Orleans Scarlet and the last one is 420 Honolulu Pink Honolulu Pink so it's named after like places so it's named after Siena, Lima, like Lima I think presume Lima Heights probably um, Havana, Osaka, Rio, New Orleans and Honolulu so they're named after places which is just so like trendy nowadays isn't it kind of thing so yeah um, it comes in a nice variety of shades like pinkies got a few pinkies, got a bit purples, got a nice beigey brown one, got like a nice dark one. We have two reds too. Um, I haven't tried all of them in the range, but I pretty much like the texture of them, which is why I wanted to do this video in the first place. And what it says on the website is this, I thought I'd read out what it actually says on the website. Also, does everybody like my phone case? It's a K-pop phone case, which is really pretty because it has my favourite boys on there. Anyways, this is beside the point. <laughs> but um, yeah, it says on the website, show your true colours with this party season this party season with bold matte lipstick made with high purity pigments and our 100% vegetarian, oh okay I didn't know that, 100% vegetarian true matte lipsticks are enriched with community trade Brazil nut oil 
and beeswax for a nourishing last long long lasting finish and I will admit that I do think they're personally for the long lasting for me at least um they can go through like a look five to six hour uni day like when I was at uni like a uni day I can go through like that with me eating lunch and everything and maybe just doing a little touch up and it goes here as always our makeup mantra is to play it clean safe wear it bold so you can count on vegetarian makeup that's kind to the skin and so that's what it says on the website just to kind of put that out there in case anybody wanted to know let's leave my phone there on the bed hopefully it doesn't fall so yeah and I thought I would just kind of get into it now and show you what um how this goes about so yeah so I am hoping to have some like close-up shots of the actual lipstick and maybe swatches we'll see but I'm doing lip swatches so it should be okay so I'm gonna go in whatever order I feel best I think I'm start with the lightest colors and work my way up from there so I'm starting with Sienna Rose which is 430 and it's this one and the packaging first of all I'm gonna explain the packaging is very nice it's black and it's just got a little like little panel of colour right here kind of thing and the colour's fairly true like on the outside and on the inside too um so I do like that um about it and it's like you know snaps really nicely can you hear that I like that sound so much I don't know why but anyways yes um so the colour on the outside is pretty true to the colour on the inside and it's really nice sleek you know just because I, I know people are obsessed with packaging so I thought I'd talk about that too and it's really nice so um yeah, I've already got a bit of lip balm on. I'm going to dab some of it off because I've got like tissue here and everything. Um, just so it doesn't affect the lipstick too much. But you don't necessarily need like loads of lip balm with this. But because they are mattes, um, it's, I call it a comfortable matte. If that makes sense, I like to call it a comfortable matte because I do feel like it's a comfortable matte. But I do because I have very dry lips. Um, this is a whole problem of my own. I have dry lips. I can't help it. I don't know what happens. I exfoliate them. Nothing works. But basically, yeah. And that's why I use lip balm underneath all the time. But it's not necessary because they are comfortable matte, like I said, in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm just going to dab it off a little bit. And because I'm not professional, I have my little mirror, which isn't the best because it has a mirror on both sides and it reflects light and it's not very good. But, yeah, um, I haven't, I couldn't find another handheld mirror, so it was very difficult. So, we're going to start with the first one. And I'm going to apply it as best as I can because, um... This is me you're talking about, so obviously. Um, hopefully you will be able to see the colour very well, so, yeah, um wound it up a little bit this is my most used one i think this and one other one are my most used one because they're very wearable colors obviously these two this and the other one are very wearable so clearly i like it a lot so yeah um i'm just gonna apply it like typically i would probably apply this with lip liner too so obviously for the sake of the video i'm not doing it with lip liner but just imagine it'll be neater because it would be with lip liner too but yeah Okay, I've tried to put on an even layer, and as you can tell, it's not probably the most flattering shade on me because obviously I'm a bit more tanned. Um, that's why I like to do something slightly different with them, which I will explain later. I kind of mix a few colours and I dab in little tiny bits and stuff like that. So this is the first one. So that was the first one. But basically, yeah, that's what it looks like. I have done a zoomed in shot, hence why um, if this next shot now when I come back here is looking a bit weird, sorry, because I don't know how to reposition it the same way it was done before. I do this all by myself, okay guys, I'm a one woman show, so you know, I, I'm, yes. But basically this is it. Um, it's not the most flattering colour, like I said, on me, but I do quite like it, especially once I mix a few other shades into it and stuff, and it looks very pretty, I think. Um, and like I said, it's very, like I forgot like this, it's very comfortable, and it will transfer, I can show you guys if you want. You'll see, it will transfer, I'll tell you that now, it definitely will transfer, but it's very comfortable, so I do like that, but it's matte, but it's comfortable. So yeah, that's the first one. Oh, that looks like a nice so dry after this. This is fun. Okay, so now time for the next one. Okay, I've just realised something while I was removing it, that this is going to be a long video, and also my lips are going to be so dry by the end of this, but I'm doing this for you guys, so I hope you appreciate me ending up with very dry lips. Um, so I don't know what colour to do next because there's some dark colours but I don't know if I want to do them first. Uh, clearly not because then it'll be hard to remove. Um, so I'm thinking of doing like the pink next which is Honolulu pink I think it's called. Um, so yeah, also my lipsticks keep falling off my little makeshift table that I've got here which is basically just a stool. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is Honolulu pink, this is 420. I don't know which colour actually comes next because Sienna, Sienna Rose was 430. Clearly they're not in like the right ordered by colour clearly but 
So this is 420, this is Honolulu Pink. I have actually never wore this shade and I'm afraid that it's going to look very, very pink on me. But we're going to do this anyway, so yeah. Dab off the extra, grab my mirror, and we'll be a go. I'm very afraid this pink is going to be like pretty much like Barbie pink, because that's what it looks like. If you look at it, it's very Barbie pink. Um, yeah, so um, I'm afraid this is going to look very Barbie pink on me, just because I've never used it. But just because it doesn't suit me doesn't mean it won't suit other people out there, so... You know, I, I wanted the whole range for a reason, so I could try every colour and like see how they would look on my skin and then compare it to other people, because I do have sisters and we all have different skin tones. So it'll work on someone. It, it will work on someone, it most likely will, so... Yeah, so that's why I bought all of them. But yeah, we'll try this one out. This is Honolulu Pink. And it's, okay, it's not too bad, it's not too Bobby Pink. I also have such a weird Cupid's bow. Uh, problems of being Ikra. So yeah, like I said, I'm not too fond of this colour, but it's it's still a nice colour. This is Honolulu Pink. Honolulu pink, it's very pinky, I will admit, it's very bobby pink. Um, but it might work on my sister who has very fair skin, I think it might look really nice on her. She doesn't wear pink, if I'm being honest, she likes red lipstick. But if she wanted to wear pink lipstick, Honolulu pink might be a good one for her. So if you have fairer skin, I might think it might look nicer on you. Or if you have very darker skin, like a lot darker on the spectrum, it could really like pop on your dark skin probably. But because uh, I'm in that weird middle, it kind of just like looks slightly weird on me. Um, it could definitely be darkened up with a dark pink that's in this range and then it might look nice on me but for on its own like for the purpose of this swatch video like on its own it's not my color but it's a nice color i'm not i'm not mad at it kind of thing so yeah or maybe if i had more like confidence to just pull it off it would work but i do not i'm me i'm a crowd it's not it's it's not gonna happen so yeah but it's a very pretty color i do like it still okay guys so the next color is <laughs> i actually don't know what the next color is so this shade is 423 Rio Fuchsia Matte. So it's basically like a fuchsia pink, um, which is a one I use quite often now. People might be surprised that Ikra uses this. But basically, it's really basic. I kind of just dab it on slightly. So yeah, that's how I use this lipstick. But anyways, um, in the real way, like fully applied, I don't know how it looks. I've never seen how it looks like fully, like the whole lip, how I'm going to do for the swatch. So that'll be fun. But this is real fuchsia pink um it's a really pretty color i can't lie it's a very deeper pink um but as the name suggests it's kind of fuchsia so yeah um this is gonna be fun let's try this one <laughs> it's very pink it is very pink also if you hear noises outside it's warm so there's kids out neighbors yeah basically so This could go wrong very quickly because it's a very like non-compromising colour, meaning if you get it outside your lip line, you're screwed. So that's fun. I might have gone slightly out of my lip line. But like not in the cute like Kylie Jenner way, in the this was drawn by a five-year-old wearing her mommy's lipstick away. This probably isn't the best application, but this is the best I'm gonna get it, so we're gonna show you now. Actually, this is not a bad colour. I do actually like this colour. This is the kind of colour I would wear. I've just never worn it so full on before. I kind of wear very small amounts of this because I don't wear such intense lips colours, but... And it makes my teeth look white. Okay, do you know what? I kind of like it now, now that I know it makes my teeth look whiter. I kind of like it. I'm very happy. Oh my god, it looks very nice. Um, so this is Real Fusion. So 
I'm actually really happy with Royal Real Fuchsia. I didn't think I'd be this happy with this colour, but it makes my teeth look white. And anything that makes my really badly stained teeth look white, I make I get very happy with it because if you guys didn't know, I always used to have a lot of fits when I was younger. Um I was an epileptic child like I had was I had a lot of fits until the age of like four or five maybe I think. Um so I was saying that um I used to have fits and stuff so obviously I was on medication from a really, really young age. And also I was born dead like I came out of my mum's womb not breathing. So I was on a lot of medication and because of that my teeth are like permanently really bad. Like I can lighten them very slightly but not by much. So anytime a lipstick makes my teeth look white or whiter, I should say, whiter. It makes me very happy, so I'm really, really pleased with this one, actually. I didn't think it was going to be this great, uh, but it is, so I'm so happy. Um, so on to the next lipstick. Let's go. Okay, I'm not going to film any more of me removing my lipstick because it's too much, and I'm running out of storage space on my SD cards. So let's just remove this now and be back. Okay, so that one's slightly stained on my lips, as you can see. Um, it's pretty stained. Um, so I'm just going to go into the next one, which is the more purplish tone. It's very similar to Rio Fugia, but it's more purple toned. Um, this one is called Lima Magenta, obviously by the name it's magenta, so it's more purple toned. Um, but I think it's very similar like in the colour spectrum, like they're very similar, they're very warm. Warm toned? I don't know what I'm talking about, but basically they're very similar in colour. So this is Lima Magenta. So this is what it looks like out of the tube. Let me show you guys, be that beauty guru shots here. Yep, there we go. Um, this is what it looks like, and I'm just going to apply it straight into my lips. I haven't put lip balm on this time, but... Let's just do it. My lips are already dead. It's okay. Yeah, this is definitely more purple toned. And as per usual, I messed up my Cupid's bowl, but it's all fine. This is the life of Ikra. I'm disappointed pretty much most of the time with my life so it's fine it's okay but this is lima magenta again it's a very pretty color and it makes the teeth look slightly whiter so i'm very pleased guys I'm very happy with this colour it's very pretty like it's it really I do know what I need to wear these lipsticks more often I really don't so it's really pretty I do like it and the feel even though my lips are starting to feel a bit dry now it still feels really nice like you can see there's got a bit of slip to it like it's not like tacky or anything it's got a lot of slip to it and it still feels nice even though obviously my lips are tingling a little bit because I'm wiping off so many lipsticks and stuff it feels very nice though it just it feels kind of smooth still on my lips in a way, it doesn't really enhance my um, dry patches on my lips because, like I said, I find it very difficult to get very dry, like clean, smooth lips, no matter how much I exfoliate my lips and stuff. And it does feel very like it's not enhancing those; it's not making it my lips feel like rough. So yeah, it's nice. I do like it. On to the next one. I now have three more left, so I'm gonna go into the red shades now. Let's go. Okay, guys. So I decided because there's two reds in the shade in the like shade range, I decided to go for the more cool tone red, which is called 410 Havana Red. Um, and it's very, like, from the outside it looks very bright, so I don't know how bright it's going to look on my lips. Also, I do actually, when I wear red lipsticks and darker lipsticks in general, I do prefer to lip line first. But because I'm doing just a swatch video after purely just the lipsticks, I'm just going to apply it as is. So we'll see how it turns out. I don't, I don't expect a lot because of me not using a lip liner. I, because my weird, lips are a weird shape, I do like to use a lip liner, especially with reds and darker colours. So yeah, but we shall see. In the tube it looks very orange coloured, but like out here it looks kind of just cool toned red um so we'll see how it actually turns out on my lip um as it looks very orange tone which is a color i don't really wear i don't wear red like very orange tone reds i wear deeper reds more like warm tone reds um so we'll see how this looks on me i don't i have no idea how it's gonna look at all so we shall see together i guess so let's go Yeah, straight off the bat, it's very orange, very orange on my lips, but it's not a problem, it's a very pretty colour so far, so yeah. Mm, slightly ruined it. I was doing so well. 
I do feel like I have to build this up more it might be because I've been wearing so many lipsticks and there's kind of a purplish tint underneath or I don't know if it's just the lipstick I think it might be because of the purplish tint underneath though so so I'm trying to get like a good coverage of it so you guys can see like it's true colour in a way I guess okay I think that's the best I can get um yeah this is how it looks it doesn't look oh, okay do you know what I actually kind of like this I'm learning something new about myself today. Do I like orange reds? Ooh, okay. Um, I quite like it though. I think it does look really nice. It's probably a colour I need to get used to. And maybe it's because I'm wearing like a reddish toned eyeshadow. Maybe that's why I like it. I don't know. It's a colour I definitely need to get used to. But I can see myself wearing this in the future at some point. I don't know when, but I see myself wearing it. Um, it's very pretty. I like it. So this is how it looks. Yeah. Falling in the love hurts just as much as falling in So yeah, I quite like it actually. I don't mind how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna get you a bit of clothes. Even though it's out of focus. But you'll see a closer shot in a second, so yeah. This looks very nice. I'm pleased. Okay, do you know what? I'm very pleased with this. I am very pleased with this. This video is going so well for me. I'm discovering I like orange reds. I'm discovering I like the way pinks look on me. This is a very fun video. I'm discovering a lot about myself in this video. This is a lot of fun. Okay, on to the close-up shot. Let's go. Out of it, but I'll scrape my knees and scar my sins. I hope you never doubted that I'm down for you. Wanna hit the town, make it loud, be a clown for you. Or maybe we could be a Romeo and Juliet, except without the age difference and we can forget the So yeah, before I move on to the next colour, I am very, very pleased with this. What is it called again? 410 Habana Red. Havana Red, I quite like you. You're a nice colour. You're pretty nice. Um, I can't wait to start experimenting with this colour a little bit more. It's really pretty. So yeah, onto the last two, we have a deeper kind of warm tone red, which is what I'm more used to with the reds, and a plum colour. So, let's go! Alright guys, so the next colour is... <laughs> that was really anticlimactic because I wasn't prepared. <laughs> My eyes needed to adjust to the name. 415 New Orleans Scarlet. So this is what it looks like on the outside. I don't know if it looks like this on the inside. I actually haven't looked at it since when I first bought it, so I don't actually remember. Um, it looks pretty warm toned from the outside, so I don't know how it's going to look. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a true red, I guess you would call it, right? I'll first show you guys. Put the lid down. Yeah, it looks like a true red, I think. What people would call a true red, I think. Um, this is not completely what I would wear, but it's fairly close to what kind of red I would normally wear, I guess. Let's get applying, I guess, and see how it looks on me. Yeah. Cause this is love at first sight <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind And darling forget about the time Cause you're mine And I'll spend every second chilling with you Like, like this that vintage Nickelodeon Innocence love Innocence the type of if we fight Let's chill and make up You're one in a million pay stubs But to me you're like a lottery There's a lot of fish in the sea But you're a catch that's so startling Baby I know that So yeah, this is definitely my go-to Not go-to, but more like my kind of right It's definitely not completely there It's still fairly blue tone because you can tell it's whitening my teeth a little bit a little bit so I can tell it's like it's more cool tone than what I normally wear but it's more uh, like on a true red I guess it's definitely not like orange red like the last one was which is something completely on my comfort zone this is something like I could wear like with like a darker lip liner maybe I could like be not too afraid to wear this basically that's what I'm trying to say so I do quite like this um again I try to apply a quite a thick layer so you guys can actually see the true colour because obviously there's so many the, like tinted lips underneath there so yeah. It feels still really smooth like I said even though my lips are feeling dry as hell right now. Um, it's still very smooth it's like it's really nice so I quite like it. Um, so this is what's it called again? New Orleans Red. Is it New Orleans Red? New Orleans Scarlet. There we go. <laughs> it got there eventually. So yeah this is how it looks. There's a lot to do with Zalfo too And in your past there's a lot to do I'll buckle up Like your burdens are weight to carry But it lessens at a steady rate And I'll be by your side Like your phone pocketed on second dates Honestly, I just want some acknowledgement For confidence and compliments But maybe I'm not hitting the dot But I'm still taking my shot I'ma practice it, go again And you can show me around And you can even will your friends Like I know that they'll be talking With their dissonant whispers But shiver me timbers If they can rock the relationship Do you know who you play with I'm feeling like minus okay guys so I managed to lose the footage for the last lipstick also please excuse this whole situation my eyes just gone crazy I managed to lose the footage for this lipstick which is the last one this one right here which is called a soccer plum um so I'm filming it now a day later as you can see um this is what it looks like 
if it focuses, there we go, yep, um, obviously I didn't wear foundation today because I wasn't planning to, I wore it for the video that I filmed yesterday, but not for this, um, bit messily applied, but it looks like this, and although it's called a sucker plum, I feel like it's a more red toned plum than like a purple plum, but it's still pretty nonetheless, I do like it, so, yeah, and it does make my teeth look slightly lighter, so that's a good thing. And yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't really want to show my eye because my eye is really bad and hurting. So yeah, that is all. Um, just because obviously it cut off the last two or three clips that I filmed, it also cut off the ending where I discussed the overall like like opinion on the uh, lipsticks and for the price I think they're definitely worth it like eight pounds for a lipstick is really good um and also because of like comparing it to other lipsticks like it's on the market like if I, if I, they're most comparable to me to the NYX soft matte lip creams and obviously that's a, like a lip cream so it's kind of like a whipped texture obviously and it's obviously this is like an actual lipstick bullet form um however like the way they settle on this on the lips like the soft kind of it, it's like matte but comfortable matte kind of feeling it's very similar so that's why compared to those and they're like six seven pounds something like that maybe so i don't know the exact price it's been a while since i bought one of those nyx lipsticks but yeah um so for the price they're definitely worth it um maybe don't buy every single shade in the range unless you like collecting lipsticks because i just bought them just to collect the whole collection so i could film a video like this um find the color that you like best and try them out and stuff because i do like them they're very comfortable they're long wearing like any matte lipstick is um it has a standard amount of wear so yeah um i really really like these lipsticks they definitely worth the money the texture of them's nice the way they sit on their lips is nice and the wear is like a normal wear for like a normal lipstick you can go through like a five six hour day for me personally with eating like once or twice and you know drinking water obviously it'll, it'll require touch ups and it does definitely transfer which i'm not going to show you because i think i showed it in the clips yesterday Today. um it does transfer i tell you that now but it's not made to transfer it's like it's an okay amount kind of thing that makes us like a standard amount that is all um thank you very much for watching if you like these videos um please let me know in the comments and i'll do more of these but the rest of the clip is there i was editing last night so i will leave now until the rest of the clip so yeah that is all that is my opinion on the lipsticks i do like them quite a lot and i found new colors that i'm very excited to try mainly the Havana red which was very orange red and I've never tried before so yeah that is all I really can't wait to see more people join my little community especially now that I have more time like I'm completely done with uni now I'm finished my three years are over so I have more time to dedicate to my youtube channel and stuff so I can't wait to go over this community more so if you do enjoy please please hit subscribe um, it really helps and also thumbs up because it lets me know that you like these kind of videos if you want more videos like this um it's very hard for me to buy I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't get paid to do this, so it's very hard for me to buy, like, products to try, but if you do want any more lip swatches and any specific ones, do let me know and I'll see if I can do them. Put them in the comments down below and I'll just, you know, I'll see if I can do them, if it's, like, budgetable for me, if I can do it. Also, just in general, in the comments, let me know how you thought of this video. Is there any colour that was your favourite in the amongst these? I think out of all of these, the one that surprised me the most, because obviously I already had a few favourites, but the one that I liked the most, probably, because it surprised me, is... Let me find it. Wait, wait, wait. I have four of them here. This one, yeah. Um, Havana Red, the four, 410, the one that was very orange red. It surprised me the most, and I quite like it quite a lot. Actually, I can't wait to experiment with this colour a bit more. Um, so let me know down below what your favourite shade was as well and which one you would like the most if you were to buy one yourself like what would you like kind of thing and yeah i guess i'll catch you guys in my next video um i don't know what it is or when it will be but hopefully i'll go back to weekly uploads soon and which usually are wednesday uploads wednesday wednesday yeah wednesday wednesday uploads um i hope i will go back to your wednesday uploads again soon um and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one bye now what do i usually say on this channel toodles guys toodles